Hi everybody, uh, I got a not, lot of nice responses from the Winnebago and Jeep Gladiator um, RV combo that I did uh, several months ago and so I thought I'd do another one just kind of go more in depth on how I set up the truck. Um, so it's been a few months since I even had the RV out. I have to go get it today because our one year warranty is about up and I have a mobile mechanic coming over to take care of some little stuff so I'm going to go down to the storage yard and grab it but uh, ahead of that I'm going to set up the truck uh, so everything's been taken out of it nothing's ready to tow so I'll take you through everything I've done and everything I do uh, starting with uh, the brake controller which the Gladiator doesn't come with one so uh, we put in a uh, Kurt Spectrum brake controller all right, so check it out. Right here under the radio, or beside the radio, is where I installed that uh, brake controller. Um, so it's easy enough to program it, set your sensitivity and whatnot, lock up the brakes if you needed to. Um, but that's all controlled right there. So there's a small hole behind here, routed the wires behind the radio, and the little control box is just really under there. There's a, you can't even see it. It's behind this panel. Right, the first thing I do on the outside is set up the hitch. So this is a weight distribution hitch which keeps the, the truck from sagging too much in the rear and kind of like a wheelbarrow um, through some bars that I'm going to attach on to the, to the uh, trailer itself. Kind of shifts the weight forward a little bit but uh, this is a bit of a beast so let me, let me slide that in real quick. Pops on in, and then I have a locking pin so nobody steals it because these little rascals aren't cheap. So we're good. Listen to that. Kind of wiggles around in there. I mean, that'll just drive you nuts while you're driving. So I got a solution for that, too. So I've got this little clamping widget. This thing goes over the top of the shank here. And this heavy steel plate clips on underneath here. Kind of holds everything steady. So check it out. All right, you just put this hasp over the top here. And you put this steel plate on the bottom with this edge kind of tipping up so it puts pressure on her. Oops, sorry. Then you do washer, lock washer. A nice big nut there. All right. And then you could use a ratchet or impact wrench or something uh, to tighten it up. I just like a ratcheting wrench. Other side. thing doesn't move at all. I mean this part does a little bit, but that's normal, right? This is sturdy. Next thing I do is airbags. So I'd installed these a while back. If you check out that red thing there, that is a bag inside the rear spring. And I inflate some air in there. It's only at minimal right now, like five pounds or so. But uh, I'll put some air in there and put it up to about 30 pounds. And that helps me with the uh, sag in the back of the truck as well. Also check my truck tires pressure as well. 
since I swapped out to these new rims, I didn't get the tire pressure monitoring system worked out on these yet. So it's been months and I still have to swap them out of the old tires from the old uh, silver ones to these nice, uh, these black ones. So I can't tell from in the cab right now. All right, next up is tow mirrors. I can't really see around the trailer, even though it's only a seven foot wide trailer, it's still kind of a narrow truck. So um, it's hard to find tow mirrors for a Gladiator. So you get these, I believe they're Rampage tow mirrors off Amazon. And then these little handy adapters uh, from Thorn Engineering, you can get them on eBay. I'll put you a link. Uh, but together, you screw them together, they make a nice solution. They just clip on the back side, center them out, and done. You adjust it when you get hooked up to the trailer. Go to the other side. So I took a picture through these mirrors when we were in Oatman. This jackass comes up behind me. I snapped his picture when he was right up on me. I still think it's one of the best pictures I've seen in the forums. All right, back in the cockpit. So now we have to work on the electronics that I use for towing. Uh, first of all, a uh, cell phone, which I use for navigation and communications. Uh, the, the Jeep doesn't have onboard navigation, it uses Android Auto, so you're using maps and whatnot from your phone. So I need that up on the dash. I need my monitor for my rear view camera. It's a backup camera for the trailer, uh, mounted on the very back, um, but it also acts as a kind of nice rear view mirror. I can see what's behind the trailer because regular rear view mirror is blocked by a big old RV, right? And then I have a tire pressure monitoring uh, display that talks to the four tires back on the trailer. So I put that up there um, on the dash as well. So I need a way to organize it. Originally in my uh, first Gladiator before I started towing, I used this uh, bullet point um, mounting deal just to put a, put a phone on, maybe a GoPro. And uh, then I had to expand a little bit to put four items up there right so rear view camera uh tire pressure monitoring system cell phone and maybe a camera uh in fact i'm talking on a camera mounted right up there now so let me show you this other solution all right so this is kind of my everyday driving setup so i do have the four balls on there um one carbon fiber arm with a magnet put my cell phone on there um and then this is the camera mount there's a gopro here i uh, actually thread my video camera on from time to time and there's my duck duck jeep somebody left me so that that rides right there uh, but anyway I like to rearrange it just a little bit to, um, to put the monitor and everything in for travel so I'll do that all right I get everything all, all right I get everything all set on there where I want it and tuck the all the cords and cables into this plastic tube which I picked up I think at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or something And then we got to work on power. And I only have the one 12 volt outlet, so I'm going to need a splitter for that. Um, and then I have only one USB A, one USB C, and a USB A in the console here. So I have a couple things to deal with with passengers and all that and cell phones. The other fun thing I did was put these neoprene seat covers on. Uh, really, that's just to protect them from the dog while we're traveling, right, and spills and whatnot. All right, that's my setup for towing. Uh, I'm going to go change my shirt because I got grease on it, and then I'll go get the trailer and get it hitched up, bring it back to the house for the uh, mobile RV mechanic. All right, it's more of a next morning kind of thing. It just got too hot. We were edging towards our first hundred, um, so early morning. 7 a.m. I'm going out to get the trailer. The heck are my sunglasses?
Oh, great. So the battery's dead. Almost dead. I'm trying to see if I can get some power off the truck to be able to run the jack. It's one of the things that uh, the warranty is going to take a look at is the battery. So I like to loosen this up. This is your sway control, I guess. Allows this piece to move a little more freely when I put the arms in. beefy sway bar just drops in and you can see there's no way to get it in there so you have to extend it again higher is better in we go So one of the cool things about this setup uh, is that the tailgate will just miss the jack. A lot of people turn their jack uh, so their tailgate can just miss the controls here. But we've got this um, base for the bike rack, right? So I couldn't really turn it. But for whatever reason, the, the Winnebago and the Gladiator, uh, the tailgate's just perfect. So I stopped at AutoZone on the way here and picked up um, another splitter for the 12-volt outlets. Um, so I'll be able to plug in the backup camera and uh, the tire pressure monitor and all that stuff at once. So we'll see how that works. It's got USB on it too. So we'll try that out. The camera doesn't show it real well, but the, the tire pressure monitoring fires up right away as soon as it gets power. So does the rear view trailer camera, however it's not paired because there's no power to the camera itself. That runs off the lighting circuit on the trailer, so I have to turn on the driving lights or headlights or something like that. So I'll just turn on the driving lights. And... And there we go. That's out the back side of the trailer. All right, one last walk around. Everything's hooked up. Hatches are closed. Tire pressure's okay from the TPMS. Valve's closed. 
and I didn't leave any important stuff on the ground. All right. You can see that backup camera works pretty nice as a rear view. Hey little brother. <laughs>